Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chase and this is All Things Run. Today we are upgrading perhaps my favorite watch and that is the Casio World Time with a new wardrobe. Now today we are talking about some new straps for an old friend. Now let's just go ahead and flip the camera around and let's try these bad boys on. Okay, so let's discuss what we have in front of me. We have my basic Casio World Time and this is going to be with the stainless steel band, the resin case that looks like stainless steel. These mods are also going to work or these straps are also going to work on the classic resin case that's black. I don't have that, I was gonna get it, but I'll talk to you at the end of the video of possibly a giveaway with a custom world time. We'll talk about that. I'll give you guys the ability to make the decision on that one. You're gonna need a spring bar tool and then the straps themselves. Now I haven't really looked at these straps since they came in, but we can look at them together. So there's two here. The first one is going to be a black leather strap. The second one is going to be like a chocolate or coffee brown leather strap. Awesome. Let's start putting these bad boys on. Let's start with black. Black is more of a classic when it comes to watch straps. So let's start with that one. Now first let's talk about the quality of these straps. You know, anybody who's ever owned a pair of watch straps from Vario knows that these are high quality watch straps. You can see that these are thick, they're solid, even if they're thick and solid, they can still be cheaply made. However, these, these always have like a good quality to them. I'm actually always happy with the watch straps. It looks like it has awesome stitching. The finishing is very well done and it does feel like it has a very comfortable underside. Now, the one thing I really like about these are they do have the quick release spring bars, which means once you have these off on the back end, it's gonna be super easy to switch between these and these. So let's just go ahead and get it done with the spring bar tool. Ooh. Well, it just lost that spring bar, so I'll probably never see that one again. Now, when you're putting on straps, a lot of people who haven't put on straps, the buckle goes at the top, the long strap goes along the bottom. Take a look at that. It just actually makes it look like a whole new watch. I'm actually really happy and I really like the way everything fits perfectly. Like, of course, they did design these straps for the Casio World Time. And honestly, it looks great. It just, you know, it just upgraded it just enough to where now it's very, very classy and stylish. Right, let's just try it on the wrist real quick before we switch it to the other one. Okay, and there it is on the wrist. Honestly, like it's, it's to me, it's really surprising just how much changing a strap will upgrade a watch. It's funny because I always tell people, hey, if you're falling in love, if you're falling out of love with a watch, change the watch strap first and then make a decision on whether or not you want to get rid of it or give it away or whatever the case is. Let's go ahead and switch the straps to the more darker brown version and let's sort of make a decision on whether or not these are worth getting. Really love the quick release straps. And I really do love this like dark coffee brown like dark brown, I feel, if it's done correctly, is just extremely classy. It's just very, very classy. Okay, so what I'm doing, what I realized the easiest way to do this is get the bottom one in because these are very tightly made. So it's very difficult to get these into the actual holes themselves, um, into the lugs. So the easiest way that I found 
by doing this has just been to push in the bottom, seat it, get it secure, and then push in the top. And there you go. Man, it's just the lighting in here doesn't do it justice with the color. Man, it just looks, these things are great. You know, honestly, if you don't have a lot of money, but you're like, hey, I know the Casio World Time is a good looking watch, right? I know it's a good watch, gets a lot of respect from people. And I want to get one with the stainless steel bracelet, which is, you know, 30 bucks. I could buy this for 30 bucks at Walmart, no big deal. And then I could replace it if something happens. Well, honestly, for just a little bit more, you can get a Vario strap or you can get two and you can completely change it. So you can have something that's a little more casual when it comes to, you know, a stainless steel bracelet. Some people would also argue that you can put a stainless steel bracelet that could also be dressy. Um, however, a lot of watches that are considered dress watches have leather bands. Um, these are a little more casual. However, I think that you could dress these up quite nicely. Honestly, 30 bucks for a watch and then just a little bit more and for under, we'll say $60, um, you can have exactly what you have in front of me right now. Honestly, Vario straps are always high quality strap. I'm extremely happy with everything here. Honestly, I think they look great. And I think that you're turning a watch that already was a good looking watch into another good looking watch. It's very rare that you see that. Sometimes you're like, hey, this watch looks really good on a bracelet. Then you put it on a NATO and you're like, oh man, it just doesn't look good at all, honestly. I didn't know how I'd feel about this, but I'm extremely, extremely happy. And real quick, here it is on the brown leather. Honestly, like I said, it really does upgrade the watch quite a bit. And Vario straps are not expensive at all. High quality, reasonable cost. Okay, so what do you guys think about these watch straps? Honestly, I think they, like I said, Upgrade the watch quite a bit. I'm really falling in love with the brown. Um, I'm gonna put some photos on, you know, if the lighting wasn't good enough in here, I'm gonna put some photographs on Instagram, all underscore things, underscore random, underscore AK. You guys can follow me over there or not. I really don't care. I'm not on Instagram as much as I should be, but whatever. Now let's talk about possibly a customized watch in the future. Now, I'm nearly at 4,000 subscribers. I think once I hit 5,000 subscribers, it's gonna be a milestone for the channel and I want to do a watch giveaway. Now, what I really love about the Casio World Time is it's a classic watch. It's not very expensive and it goes with nearly everything. But I don't want to give away mine. But what I was doing is looking at some customized watches that have different colors and I'll put them on the screen right now. You can get red, green, blue, multicolor. What I want you guys to do is in the comments below, I want you to tell me what colors you guys would be interested in putting on a Casio World Time so I can get that watch custom made just for the giveaway. And you know, if you guys want blue or you guys want the world to be blue and the rest to be red or everything to be blue and the world to be red or whatever the case is, any type of color combination, or just a solid color at all, I'm willing to reach out and have it customized for you guys as a giveaway. But I'm not gonna know if you guys don't tell me in the comments below. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a comment of the content you guys would like to see on this channel. I have a lot of reviews coming up in the future. I know you guys are probably hating me for not doing more watch stuff. I have more watch stuff coming. The issue is, is watch stuff is quite expensive and I do have a lot that I want to talk to you about when it comes to watches but I also have some other products that I want to review just to help those new up and coming reviewers because really it's important to me to help you guys maybe you guys want to start a channel maybe you guys want to start reviewing watches I love sharing this space with people who have a passion in the hobby of either electronics either uh, being active or watches. And the only way I can do that and help you guys is to review things that, you know, I really think are gonna help you out in starting the channel. So I do have some of those reviews coming up in the future, but I basically am doing this. If you guys are subscribers or if you're new to the channel, what I'm gonna try to do is gonna try to do two watch stuff, a review things. Two watch videos, a review video, right? I have literally things piling up everywhere that I need to review. And a lot of it's not watch stuff, 
because watch stuff is just a little expensive at this point. I do have some things coming in the mail that is a surprise, but you guys need to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop those videos. Until next time.